case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1933, the Supreme Court of the United States heard the case Fairmount Glass Works v. Cub Fork Coal Company. The case centered around the principle that appellate courts should not typically second-guess a trial court's decision to grant or deny a new trial, particularly in relation to damages awarded by a jury. The lawsuit began when Cub Fork Coal Company and Paragon Colliery Company sued Fairmount Glass Works for breaching a contract to purchase 17,500 tons of coal. After three trials, the plaintiffs were awarded only $1 in costs, despite seeking $32,417 plus interest and damages. They appealed to the Circuit Court of Appeals, which ordered a new trial each time the case was heard. In response, the defendant filed a counterclaim of $2,000 for damages caused by the plaintiff's failure to deliver coal. The Supreme Court ultimately granted the defendant's petition to argue that the Circuit Court of Appeals violated the Seventh Amendment. The court found that the Circuit Court of Appeals had not abused its discretion by refusing to set aside the verdict and that the district court's instruction on damages was not reviewed because there had been no timely request or objection. As a result, the judgment of the Circuit Court of Appeals was reversed, and the judgment of the district court was affirmed. This case serves as an example of how challenging it can be to overturn a trial court's decision on damages, even if the amount appears excessive or inadequate. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for Visit lsd.law Elevate your mind Leave the stress of class